Hi, everyone. We're broadcasting from Slim and Mame Stadium, home of the Terra Bay Mutineers. A lot of Mutineer fans enjoying some good tailgate fun out in the parking lot. Yeah, but instead of tailgates, they got planks, and they're making the other team's fans walk off into a shark tank. Like I said, good old fun in the parking lot. Let's play some mutant football. Both teams hit the field, ready to hit each other in this MFL matchup. The Crooks and Skull Jugulars battle the Terra Bay Mutineers. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. It's a beautiful day for MFL football. At least in the booth with the AC, personal servants, and blood shield. Hi, Grim Blitzer here with you along with my partner Brickhead Mulligan and Mini Bricks. How are you guys doing? I'm doing that little hottie who works the deep fry at the concessions. He said, how not who, you idiot, even if you got the answer right. And it's first and ten. And that's the way to get the sticks moving. He picks up five yards on that play. Second down and five. And he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. First and ten. Oh, and did he just put on a display there? Touchdown! Hey, man, nobody can touch you with an eyeball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. Hey, what you talking about? Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. You gotta be kidding me! My sister could have made that kick! Isn't your sister in a wheelchair? I know, right? Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. He sets up for the return. Let's see if he can break one wide open. First and ten. Wow, it took like a thousand volts of shock there. They did that to my Aunt Lizzie because she thought she was the reincarnation of Lizzie Ford and the Axe Murmur. Did the shock treatment work? Well, after she killed four of the doctors and zapped her, they never bothered her again. So, yeah, I guess it worked for her. <laughs> First down and five. Jerk. Ain't nothing 
worse than wasting a good explosive. Second down and five. Caught the defense napping. They get ready for the kick. This isn't a gimme. Now that's what's so frustrating about kickers. They're all head cases. All that work and they come up empty. That sucks. And it's first and ten. Nice pick up for six yards. And that'll be second down and four. The defense better watch out. The quarterback just threw a murder ball. Oh, I'd love to find a ball that he tripped. Oh, nice hit. <laughs> than the QB would like. <laughs> Third down and the punter is warming up. Well, he made the pass, but then a slap in the face by the defense. Oh, that's me in the hotel bar every night. Hey, your opening line needs work. Why? Really? What's a pretty girl like you doing here all by herself? Are you a hooker? Well, it's a fair question. Straight through the uprights. The team getting penalized needs to go into their dirty tricks and attack the ref. Come on, guys, get with it. Attack him and kill him. Jeez. Man, this coach must have played. And the offense jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. <laughs> you know, some
sometimes the best thing to do is just punt and let your defense get the ball back. Nice punt. Should move them back nicely. Nice catch. And he turns on the afterburners. Punt return. It. Oh, that's a vicious hit. And the crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300 pounds of brown mutant meat. And you can't hit a guy much harder than that. And that is unfortunate. I hope you covered your ears, Bricks, because that was a Sonic Blast dirty trick. That ball just broke the sound barrier. No. Nope. And he's off to the races. Oh, a great catch, and he picks up a new set of downs. That's the end of the first quarter, and it's still anyone's game. Oh, oh could it be mine? First down and three. Either way, they're going for two. And he runs it in for an easy two points. The momentum in this game may be shifting. Oh, those are just my balls. Hey, thanks for sharing, Bricks. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. And it's first and ten. Second down and six. And that'll give them four more downs to punish the defense. And you better believe they will. And it's first and ten. Maybe the QB should throw it and catch it, too. Second down and ten. And that catch will give him a first down. I don't know if they're his, but he sure has a good set of hands. First and ten. That's a killer. It was right there, and then he dropped it. Ah, oh, scumbag is killing me in fantasy league. Second down and ten. Catch the ball, get the first down, and don't die. See, it's really a simple game when it comes down to it. First down and nine. Oh, with a brutal hit. Second down and five. Exploded into flames. Now the defense has to try to tackle our running. And that's just a great run for a touchdown. <laughs> hey, you see that, little baby?
me? No, you didn't. You know why? I'm too fast for you. I'm the greatest. The greatest, I tell you. <laughs> You know, that shouldn't be easy, but with kickers, you never know. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. And what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. Grabbed him by the head and didn't let go. And the worms go to the bathroom, Grim. Or did they just grab that, you think? The burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? Now, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably grabbed his pants. And it's first and ten. I'm going to say maybe three yards, but a tough three yards. Second down and seven. Looks like a pass, and it's bouncing right back to the QB. Oh, it's the sticky ball dirty trick. Ah, oh, pass the popcorn, Grim. Zoom in on his face, then his crotch. I want to see if he cries or pisses himself first. Third down and long. And he reels that one in for a first down to keep the drive alive. And it's first and ten. Second down and a very lot. You've got to catch that. Third down and, well, good luck. The offense just burned the defense pretty hard on that one. That is still edible, though. Just got to scrape off the charred parts. And this field goal is certainly within the kicker's range. It's good. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. First and ten. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path. Oh, look at this guy break tackles. He oh, devastating hit. You ever get hit that hard, Bricks? Yep. Third grade. Sister Mary Margaret of Our Ladies of Holy Hell. But it was just a regular knuckles. Oh. And it's first and ten. Hey, yeah, uh, don't give the fans any ideas. The commission already spends all day on Twitter shooting down rumors. 
And the offense goes into their two-minute drill. Which coincidentally happens to be Brick's match stupsing time. That's why the girls call me Speedy Gonzalez. And that's a sack. Speaking of sacks, has anybody seen my powder? I'm itching like crazy over here. Third down. They stumped the clock with their first timeout, leaving them with two in case they need them. Yeah, just like condoms, hatchets, and wives, huh, Grim? You know, you just summed up why we don't get together outside of work, Bricks. That ball was almost intercepted. Now this one's gonna be tough. I hope he has a good enough leg for this one. I saw him trying one on before the game. He looked okay, I think. Not my type though, a little too mutilated. Oh, and he misses the kick. Man, his teammates are gonna flog him when he gets back to the sideline. And the quarterback goes into a hurry up offense and calls all the plays from the line of scrimmage from here on out. Sound the phone stamping and cracking. I mean, when they're not yawn. And it's for his first time out under two minutes. The chess game has begun. It's like chess only. You can kill people. I hope some lucky fan gets to catch the ball. This is going to be a great kick. With how hard he's going to have to kick it, he'd probably die, Bricks. Pass me the banana. Oh, man, he shanked that. There goes my spread. <laughs> And it's first and ten. One. Nicely done. Picks up three on that pass play. Ooh la la. The quarterback is controlling the clock like the clock is into it. I know I am. Second down and seven. One. It's a first down from a great catch. Was it a catch, though? Let's go. And that's the end of the second quarter. Someone will need to pull together some bribe money as they head to their lockers. Stay with us for the halftime show, brought to you by our friends at Monsatan Industries. We make genetically altered Franken food you'll have fun trying to identify. Welcome back. Hope you enjoyed the carnage during today's halftime show. Obviously, they need to play a lot harder here in the second half to make a game of it. Or they can start cheating and killing. That's what I do. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. And that's a returnable ball. Returnable? You mean he can get a refund for it? No, no, Rick said it means he can return it for you know what? Never mind. <laughs> and it's first and ten. And he's able to grab that one somehow and hold on for the first down. So hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I 
saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. First and four. We know this quarterback likes to play with soft balls, but the defense, they're playing with big balls and just crushed his balls. That's a lot of balls, Ben. <laughs> And that'll be second down and four. Pow! With the brain scrambler! Third and two. And he rumbles into the end zone for the score! I hope he's not gonna dance now. Now there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and get the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sinners then. Straight through the uprights. <laughs> The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. And the defense puts one over on the quarterback with a sticky ball dirty trick. The only thing the QB can do now is run for his life. Or die. Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. One, hot two. heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a pick ahead. Catch the ball, asshole. Third down and tired of the quarterback's tight spirals. And in some leagues, you aren't even allowed to touch the QB. In the NFL, they have plays just for killing them. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. The offense has only two quarterbacks remaining on the roster. They better be careful because when those guys die, it's forfeit city. Offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. <laughs> Third down, and the QB is saying his prayers. Screw that up. No one died. Bombs don't kill mutants, Grim. Mutants kill mutants. No, they couldn't pick up a first down, so now they have to punt. And he put all of his foot into that one. The return man catches the ball and heads upfield. left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite thing because he's the one who just got wiped out. And it's first and ten. A nice run there for eight yards. Second down and two. Hey, man, you see that? That's right.
what? You can't handle this. You can't handle what I got. Yeah, get the hell out of here, man. Third down, and the punter is warming up. I had this guy on my fantasy team last week. I lost so much money on him, not to mention my kneecaps. My loan shark is very anal about collecting my money on time, Grim. And it's first and ten. And the quarterback finds his man for the first down. And it's first and ten. And he put on the afterburners after that catch and scored. Nice. Ah, oh, that is such bullshit. I got money on this game. These guys need to talk to the ref about those calls. If I talk, I mean, stomp them into the ground. Yeah, First and, and they've had enough. The offense jumps on sides and attacks the ref. <laughs> First down and forever. Breaking analysis as always there, Bricks. Oh, thank you. I do my part. for this kick. Hey, a sawbuck says he misses. That looked like the QB's fault. If he held the ball spikes out like he was supposed to, the kicker would have never missed. And it's first and ten. But there's still plenty of time to bribe refs and kill the other team's star players, so it's anyone's game, really, Bricks. And it's first and ten. And he'll pick up seven yards on that play. Second and three.
third down and forever. And the quarterback calls a sonic blast dirty trick and throws a supersonic mix. And they went to the air and came up big. Most kickers should be able to make this one. But will this kid can make it? Find out next time on NFL Game Day. Uh, NFL isn't episodic, Brick. And it's a miss. Looks like the QB had some issues with the ball placement. Spikes out. Spikes out. How many times do you have to tell that idiot QB to hold the ball with the spikes out? with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. And he was running like he had a load in his pants. Picks up maybe two. Uh, we always ran with a load in our pants, Grim. It's a pretty good defensive tool. Yeah, except the zombies. They are freaks. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. Third down and ten. And that was a bone crusher right there, folks. And out comes the most underrated position in football, the mighty punter. And that punter gets paid way too much to kick like that. They let the punt drop, and it will be down by the defense. And it's first and ten. He runs it for three. Second down and seven. It's two-yard run before he stopped. Third down and five. And he picks up maybe four on that play. Now here comes the punting unit. You know, punters really do know how to party, Bricks. Yeah? Oh, yeah, I have pictures that, uh, well, maybe actually shouldn't discuss this on here. And he's got a chance for a good return here. And he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. And it's first and ten. Two minutes left in the game. Thank God, I gotta take a wicked dub. Feel like I'm sitting on a wax candle. Not a nice shoulder, you know. Second down and more than the QB would like. And the defense calls the thunderclap dirty trick. Man, that's gotta hurt. Then I'll make the hair on your corpse stand straight up. First and ten. Oh, and he looks like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. Yeah, sounds like my off seat. Either the defense is trying to keep some time on the clock for their offense, or someone let a real bonehead touch the controller. Second down and five. Snatches that one out of the air for a first down. See if they can get something going here. The defense has to make something happen here with one timeout left. And it's first and ten. Oh, and the quarterback threads the needle for a first down. 
The defense takes its final timeout. They can't stop the clock anymore, so they'll need to stop the offense. And it's first and ten. And into the end zone for a touchdown. Once he got his hands on that pass, he was off to the races. Try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? And the easiest play in the league, and he chokes. <laughs> yeah, he's a choker. He's a midnight smoker. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story, but here's the kicker. When I turned on the line, it wasn't wrong in my bed. into a hurry-up to pick up the pace of the game.